All right, let's do module federation. So what we'll want to do is run two apps simultaneously, grabbing a component from one and using it in the other. So we'll do that. And we'll start out with the sensible default here with workspaces task runner. And we'll create a packages directory. So um, packages, we'll cd in there. And we'll run npx create mf app. One will be named host. Or you can call it home, whatever. App. 8080 is fine. React. JavaScript. CSS. We'll run that again. And we'll call it nav. App. 8081. React. JavaScript. CSS. Okay, I'll go back to this root directory and run yarn, run yarn start ports, two servers, okay? So what we want to do is we want to bring, we want to build a, naviga a navigation from this server and bring it in here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and create that. And we'll just import that into the app here. Nav from dot slash nav. And use it there. Just to make sure we've got it. Okay, so this is what we want on here. So how do we do that? We go over to the home directory. And we set up webpack config. So let's look at both of these webpack. I'm going to close all of this stuff and just open up the webpack configs for home and nav. Okay, so nav has this module federation plugin and it's serving at 8081, so we'll actually need that. Okay, so we'll put this in the script tag for home on the index page. Script source. There and the name of the file is going to be called remote entry. And this puts the nav onto the global namespace. Okay, so that's what that file does. And then it's referring to itself as nav. So that's the way we'll import it. But first, before we import it, we have to expose the item whatever we're exposing so we're exposing dot slash nav at source nav okay and actually we need to give a library key because of the way we're doing this it's a unique way we're build building and stuff so it's going to be say type uh, var name nav that special key we'll just copy that because we'll use that again okay so that's all we need to do uh, we'll change some of this but yeah, that's that's it. Okay, and then in home, we'll give it the same key of the library, but this time its name is home, and we'll say in the remote we're grabbing the nav from nav. Okay, now we should have access to it. So um, nav slash, or actually lowercase nav slash um, slash big nav is what we'll get okay so over an app JSX we'll lazy load it instead of saying um, you know import from this we'll say react dot lazy lazy turns a function import uh, lowercase nav uppercase nav and then we'll just put that in suspense react spence fallback uh, we have to actually name this const uh, nav equals react lazy and like that and that should work so let's restart this Okay, so we got our header from here. So that's all we need to do to get the header in here from the other 
uh, component. But and I was just change this around a little bit and just just call this uh, like uh, home app. What we want to do is, in case this server is not running, or in case this server is not running on 8081, we want to be able to fall back to um, to use what's in the build directory. So we need to build that from source. And what we'll do is um, go to uh, package JSON of the nav. Let me actually kill these and just go in here, go nav, let's open in the terminal. And first what we're gonna do is add Babel CLI. Let's close all of this. Okay. And we want in our dependencies, we want Babel, not Babel runtime, but yarn add at Babel CLI. So what Babel will do is it will build React or whatever language into uh, vanilla JavaScript so you can use it without any interpreters. Okay, so that's what we'll do. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll say um, uh, build was going to run two kinds of builds. We're going to build uh, MF, which will be Webpack, right? Well, that's dynamic, just chunking, chunking the files. And we're going to run build Babel. Okay. So this one can stay the same. And this one is going to change to Babel, which is the compiler source outdoor. We'll call it uh, build. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. So build is going to run yarn build, um, sorry, yarn, yarn build MF and yarn build battle. Okay, so you can run both of those. Boom, boom. All right, and then um, we need to, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's just, while we're in here, let's say yarn build. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we got it built. So we'll be pulling from uh, this file instead of the remote file on um, remote entry as the fallback. And we need to give this an entry point here. Say main is going to be index.js. Actually, it's going to be uh, build. Oh, sorry. And these got to be double quotes. So dot slash build <laughs> index.js. Okay, so now we have the entry point for this. And um, over on home, we want to, let's open home up in a terminal. And let's check this. So this is called nav 1.0.0, name and version. So in order to link these two, we're going to put dependency of nav 1.0.0 into um, home. So we'll go ahead and say we're in the home, packages home. So we'll say yarn add nav at 1.0.0. Okay, so now they're linked and it knows where to get it. All right, so in order for us to not just react lazy and suspense um, in, for the running server, but also to um, also to uh, be able to um, get the fallback, we need to create an error boundary. So this is just boilerplate from React, and we'll call this header wrapper, and it does some error handling. Okay, uh, you can get rid of this. In fact, it won't work unless you do. And then in here, we'll just return this React Suspense right here. 
after we lazily load it. So dynamic ESM, dynamic imports allows you to do it in line, you know, or or whatever. So this we have to refer to as header wrapper. And then that should work there. There should be no change here. Okay. But when the nav app goes down, we should see something went wrong. So if we turn this off, turn this off and just go to the nav and let's let's notate what this is. This is this is nav and this is home. And let's not start nav and just start home. So yarn start. Okay, so we should get this we should get this something went wrong in here now because the nav server is not running. Okay, something went wrong. Alright, so now what we want to do is actually use um, use a fallback nav. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is instead of referring it to as nav slash nav, because nav is the package name of of this, right? So it's in, that's the key in here as well as the webpack config. That's the key of of nav. Uh, so that's that's its real name, but we need to give it an alias so that we can distinguish in the app what we're loading. So we can't just say import nav nav import nav nav. It'll it'll say we don't know which one you're talking about. So um, we're gonna have to in the when we close all of this go into um, home and the way we're referring to our remote will now be called my nav okay my nav and then an app will say um, import my nav and that will refer to the dynamic one okay um, and it doesn't you know, it doesn't know what's going on here so let's just make sure that still works so we'll go back in the root yarn start okay now we want to fall back so what we're going to do is um, intentionally fail the, uh, the 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 nav server and just start this one okay um, before we do that we have to build stuff okay this has already been built so it's actually fine but um, well since it's already been built we'll just use the one that's already been built yarn start so I'm gonna do this if there's an error lazy load uh, nav build nav and return uh, we'll call this fallback nav and return return that in suspense so now what we want to do is um, I mean, we accomplished the goal here, but we just want to demonstrate that there is a difference, right? So if we run this nav, yarn start, dynamically, it should not error and should pick it up. It should grab my nav nav. So if we change, let's go to the nav actually, and change the color to green that should show green right here okay and if we stop the nav it should show what was been built from source which is uh, blue okay now just I mean that's pretty much it but just let's go through and clean some of this stuff up and just do it from scratch right so let me make sure that stopped this is stopped. That's stopped. Let's yarn wipe everything. So that's just a sensible default in the package JSON. Task runner wipes the node modules, dist, and build. So none of this stuff should exist. I'll go when it's done. I'll go ahead and refresh if it doesn't show. Okay, it's gone. Now 
I'll go ahead and say um, yarn. Yarn's installed, so then we can rerun the script. So <laughs> yarn build. So run first um, nav. Get the build and dist folders. So webpack is the dist, which is the chunks, and then build is the vanilla JS by Babel. Okay. So build those. That'll build some kind of dist folder here for chunking. Okay, those are built. I can say yarn start. Green header. Green header, and then let's stop the root one and just go to home. Make sure that's not running. Okay, and just yarn start this guy. So we get no nav running, no nav server running, just the home server, and we'll get. We'll have to change it to demonstrate that it's actually different. So let's go ahead and start the nav and change the color in nav to um, orange. Okay, now we have an orange header. 